Hey guys, it's Blue here for number two of my outrageous acts of science uh, recreation videos. This one, it, it it floored me a little bit. I was like, ah, there, there's no way this can happen. But then, you know, of course, it wasn't going to kill me if I tried it. So I tried it and it actually worked. And I was like, hell, this is cool. So I just wanted to pass this on. Uh, this is a Kenwood uh, radio. This is what I use while, while working. Um, so it's relatively powerful um definitely more powerful than the uh what is it, the bofang radios that i have and i gave one away um it had this trick does not work with a bofang so you need something a little bit uh more stout put has a little bit more output to it but what we're going to do is we're going to light the standard uh fluorescent light this is only about a two footer as you can see there's no wires there no wires on that end and we're basically, what we're going to do is we're going to light the fluorescent light up using just the radio. So I got to uh, pause the video real quick because I got to put it on a bracket and then we'll start again. All right, now the unfortunate part now is that I can't technically see what I'm recording. So hopefully it works. But like, like I said, you guys can see there's no wires nothing so this is just a microphone and this is it so that's pretty damn cool I thought um, and the reason I'm not talking whenever I'm doing that and it lights up is because I'm actually on a frequency it's not a, a well used frequency but you know if somebody's trying to use it or I don't want to get in trouble for using it so <laughs> that's why there's no voice going on but let me go turn the uh, the light off real quick and we'll we'll do it again all right so the lights off I just gotta find where I'm at and this is I mean it puts off whenever I get the light up here it puts off just as much light as if it was plugged into an electrical outlet. As, as you guys can tell, I'm trying to go, you know, close to the antenna, away from the antenna, different parts on, or different angles on this so you can see it. So let's try it again. I don't know. I, I just think that's cool. Let me uh, hit the light again. All right, so that's my uh, outrageous acts of science moment two. Um, anytime I see a uh, video like that that y it you can recreate, I'm gonna attempt to do it. I just think stuff like this is awesome. Uh, you can do the same trick if if you don't have a, a portable that has a, a you know a pretty good output. You can use a CB antenna, like if you have a CB in your uh, in your truck or whatever. Same thing happens. Just you know, put the uh, put the bulb up next to the antenna, of the CB, key it up, and it will light. So uh, this type of stuff just <laughs> I think it's interesting. The science of it, I don't know a whole lot of. I just think it's cool that it works. But apparently, you know, you you key up your mic and you transmit, and whenever you transmit a radio, of course, it has to send out some type of a wave. Uh, wavelength to get your message to go to wherever it's going that wavelength coming off of the antenna basically smashes into the gases that are inside of the uh, the light bulb and that chaos basically causes all the atoms or what have you inside to smash together and boom you got light so I, don't, I just think it's cool but I'm gonna start ra stop rambling because I don't know the science portion of it it's just awesome all right, guys. Later.